In the realm of watchmaking, there is a short list of timepieces that undeniably exude status. Among that exclusive list, one watch stands out, the Rolex President. Since the mid 20th century, these watches have fascinated high level business executives, fictional characters, renowned athletes, musicians, and as the name implies, US presidents. They've demonstrated that even among the most elite individuals, the allure of shiny things is universal. Today, I'm fortunate to showcase two exemplary Rolex president watches. Let's delve into these timepieces, explore their history, understand the significance of the name, and discover where it originated. Let's dive in. The Rolex President line comprises two distinct references, namely the 1803 and the reference 18248. To truly appreciate these timepieces, let's delve into the origins of the Rolex President. The Rolex Day Date made its debut in 1956, with the reference 6511, a model in production for only a couple of years, succeeded quickly by the Rolex 6611. Until the introduction of the 1800 line in the early 1960s, these watches showcased the iconic President's bracelet with three-piece semicircular links, with a larger link at the center being most prominent. When examining these watches, the bracelet is truly the standout feature. But how did the President label become associated with these watches? That connection came a little later, so let's explore the link between US presidents and this watch specifically. The connection of Rolex with General Eisenhower can be traced back to the gift of the 150,000 certified chronometer two years before he became president in 1951. However, the true origins of the Rolex president name are linked to two individuals, John F. Kennedy and Lyndon B. Johnson. Despite being the main catalysts for the Day-Date's association with the presidential name, JFK's connection to the Rolex Day-Date is relatively brief, as he never wore the model gifted to him. When Marilyn Monroe gave him a Rolex Day-Date, engraved with Jack with Love Always from Marilyn, May 29, 1962, it was reported that JFK swiftly responded, just get rid of it. The watch, accompanied by a poem, was given to one of JFK's aides. The term Rolex President gained prominence when JFK's running mate Lyndon B. Johnson or LBJ assumed office and frequently wore his yellow gold day dates. This association led many to refer to it as the Rolex President, a term widely accepted today. Now that we've explored the lineage and history, let's closely examine these two references. Before we delve in, a couple of essential notes. Firstly, the term Rolex President, much like many names in the watchmaking community, is enthusiast-driven. It wasn't officially adopted by Rolex, but they did incorporate it into some of their marketing tactics later on, as evident in the mid-20th century ads, stating that these watches are favored by US presidents, and using that type of language. Consider this when noting that there is no universally defined criterion for what constitutes a Rolex president. However, there are common characteristics associated with a watch being considered as a Rolex president. It must feature the president's bracelet, it must also be a day date, and it's important to note this to identify potential fakes circulating with a president's bracelet. Thirdly, it is typically associated with yellow gold and often seen in that precious metal. Now, let's focus on these two Rolex models. Beginning with the 1803, it epitomizes the classic Rolex president with a champagne dial, representing the initial era of the Rolex president. It enjoyed a lengthy production run from the early 1960s to the late 1970s. On the other hand, our second model is the Rolex 18248, featuring a white dial and barked center links. This model signifies a different era for the day-date, produced from the late 1980s through the 1990s. As we delve into the details of the Rolex 1803, it positions itself within the mid-1970s, representing a significant period within its specified life cycle. Notably, this particular model saw variations in calibers, initially housing the 1555 and later transitioning to the 1556. In 1972, Rolex introduced the 1556 with a noteworthy addition, hacking capabilities. 
the incorporation of hacking allows the second hand to come to a stop when the crown is pulled out, contributing a practical and functional element to the timepiece. The watch features a distinctive pipe hand dial, characterized by a subtle rise that not only enhances the aesthetic appeal, but also complements the loom plots on the dial. The classic champagne color further adds a timeless elegance to the watch. This Rolex 1803 stands out with its acrylic crystal, a hallmark of vintage Rolex watches, and is housed in the iconic 36mm case with a fluted bezel, contributing a touch of sophistication to its overall design. The fluted bezel, with its unique grooves, has long been associated with Rolex's commitment to craftsmanship and attention to detail. On the other hand, the Rolex 18248 introduces several distinctions, most notably in its movement. This model was among the pioneers in introducing a double quickset functionality with the caliber 3155. The double quickset feature significantly improves the user experience, allowing for swift adjustments to both the day and date displays. Vintage Rolex enthusiasts appreciate the convenience of quickset features, as it eliminates the need for tedious and time-consuming adjustments. The specific 18248 model from the late 1980s showcases influences from modern-day Datejust designs. It features a sapphire crystal, a departure from the acrylic crystal of its predecessor, enhancing durability and clarity. The white dial adorned with Roman numeral markings harmonizes with the applied indices on the outermost part of the dial. In a departure from the fluted bezel characteristic of the 1803, the 18248 incorporates an engine-turned bezel, contributing to its distinctive aesthetic. The Rolex 18248 emerges as the more spirited counterpart within this duo, notably distinguished by the bark center link of the President bracelet. This feature not only accentuates the pronounced contrast with the polished bracelet of the 1803, but also exemplifies the extensive variety found within the President line. Over the years, the Rolex President line has showcased an array of dial colors and variations, reflecting the evolving tastes and preferences of its discerning clientele. As we transition into the contemporary era, one can discern the influence of this more attention-grabbing design on modern Rolex watches. The Rolex President, like many iconic Rolex timepieces, elicits diverse opinions. Some individuals choose to wear it with understated elegance, akin to figures like Jack Nicklaus, who has adorned the watch for decades. Others embrace it as a statement piece, reveling in the attention it garners. The Rolex President is a timepiece that invites discussion and reflection on individual preferences. In the realm of urology, opinions about the Rolex President can be polarizing. Some admire its distinctiveness, while others find it to be a bit extreme. Extravagant. From a personal standpoint, I appreciate the watch for its uniqueness and historical connections to US presidents and other notable personalities. It stands as one of the few gold bracelet watches that I would contemplate owning, acknowledging its attention-grabbing nature. I invite fellow watch enthusiasts to share your insights in the comments section below. And that concludes our discussion on the Rolex President watches. We appreciate your presence here at Venti Chic. Remember to show your support by liking and commenting on this video. Ensure you subscribe to our channel for timely updates on our upcoming content. We look forward to having you with us in our next video.